I nearly accidentally just broke my new piece of merch. God damn it. I am finally back, everyone, with the Tell Your Tale reactions. Oh, it's been such a while, and I've missed doing these so much. It's time to return back to form. But we need a new color for this era, because the pink one ended quite prematurely. I know what. Since Halloween is fast coming and is almost at our doorsteps, I think it's time to go black and orange. Cloppots, it's me, follow my boy Cortez Colt, and yep, you heard me right, it's the return of the Tell Your Tale reactions! And finally, we are getting into and watching episode 29, Dragon Dad. So obviously, I believe that this episode is going to be all about Hitch and Sparky. People have been telling me that Opaline and Misty are going to be making appearances as well, so that's quite interesting. So how about we give this episode a shot? Just to celebrate the return of the glorious mouse, we're going to be smacking it with my fist. The good old way to do it. Let's do this! Ah, Sparky Sparkaroni having a little swing by Aunt Izzy. Why is it doing by handcuffs? That's kind of risky. Oh, yep, yeah, that was obvious. Ah, oh, good dad, Hitch. You saved Sparky, but it came at the expense of pineapple. Ah, uh, tell your tale. So good to be back. On the three S's of successful pony parenting. Oh, really, do they? You've been the one that's been parenting the most, Hitch. <laughs> My foolproof system for perfect dragon parenting. <laughs> well, Izzy already had a treatment of that in episode two. No snacks. No snacks? Oh, that is. Oh, what? He's shredding it. Don't tell me he makes that into pasta. Wait, where'd he go? Well, he's already out of your sight. Have you seen this dragon vibes are coming back? No, no, he's on top of your head, little beastie. Hey, oh, there's Misty. Oh, good job, Sparky. Trying to get rid of her already. <laughs> what is that necklace around her? Hey, she's got a butterfly pen. It matches her, like, drawn on cutie mark. Hey, is this, like, episode coming after chapter two? Because if so, wow, I've got my schedule on point. <laughs> <laughs> Opaline is just trying to dream of the dragon fire. You've already got a slice of that. You've already got one, Hitch. Maybe you're not utilizing it properly. Alarm system. Oh no, the lasers are back. God damn it. Izzy, it's not a toy. Stop it. Yeah, follow the keys, Izzy. Good girl. Oh no, it reminded me of that meme. Tell me what you got. A knife. No! The security system are the critters. Oh, don't turn this into some pony has been watching over me again. Because that episode was just unbearable. Oh. And it turned... Oh, that's a quite a, quite a cool gift. I wouldn't mind a ukulele. Oh, wow. Sparky has immense strength. Watch it. Oh, my God. Hey, it's messy hairstyle. I love that on him. No, no, he's just not giving you the chance to speak, Kitchy. This learning curve tastes like blueberries. Those are purple berries, though, not technically blueberries. Never let them out of your sight. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Oh no! Oh, he's he's unleashed. Izzy, check the beach. Zip, be our eyes in the sky. Sunny, you uh just skate around until you find him. Yeah, Sunny, Sunny's just useless, isn't she? <laughs> Dragon detector. Oh my god, Misty is just abu is just being abused in this episode. Oh, he's gone into the main melody. Using those goggles to good use. Hey, you finally have your ears back, Jazz. I'm so happy for you. Oh my god, Sparky, you are one mischievous little bugger. Oh, I thought that was blood for a second on, on those planes. I can't even look after one little baby dragon. No, no, you're not getting sad today, Hitchy. Sparky, I'll take off this stupid eaten by bees or... Look at the bunny Okay, corn. look at the bunny cord. Yeah, oh, that would instantly cure my anxiety. Sorry, ponies. To be honest, I wouldn't mind that as well. I to be a great dragon dad. You are a great dragon dad. Just Everyone has their struggles, Hitch. It's not just your fault. Jeez, look at that face from Misty. Ah, 
And now her main is a Thanks, bunch of petals. I need to be less controlling. Hey, yeah, you do. Sorry, no I'm more spaghetti. So he can have all the spaghetti. Bubble ball! <laughs> oh, what a fun little ending. My, it's so nice to be watching all this again. Ah, oh, wonderful episode. Oh, stupid son. I've got a little bit of a lens flare on the camera. Oh, well, I'm just going to be recording the rest of the discussion from this angle. Dragon Dad. What a delightful episode. And with these episodes only being five minutes long now, I don't have to really talk much because I know I can shorten these discussions however I want. Hitch trying to learn to be a better Dragon Dad towards Sparky was really heartwarming and the chaoticness that just went on in this episode was absolutely hilarious through and through. And Misty getting the abuse, like why? She's such an innocent character and to have all this brutal treatment just thrown onto her continuously throughout this episode episode. Uh, I did feel bad for her, but nevertheless, it was funny anyway. I'm, I'm really surprised that Opaline and Misty do make an appearance or a cameo in this episode because it does help expand the story between Tell Your Tale and Make Your Mark because I know that Opaline absorbs like the dragon fire from Have You Seen This Dragon in the end of chapter two. So in a chronology sense, that episode comes chronology before Dragon Dad. So I'm so happy that this has some like smooth organization between the episodes because you know which one's first and which one is like rightfully next. Opaline dreams about having more dragon fire <laughs> like you are one little wicked girl Opaline because I cannot wait for you to like try and absorb more but with Sparky's behavior in these episodes so far there is no way you're getting any more. Even though Zip, Pip and Sunny and Izzy took a kind of backseat in the story their appearances did pay off in the end because in the epilogue they were trying to help like Hitch find Sparky and with Zip in the Sky and Izzy just looking through the main melody and Pip as well. Uh, they, their characters are really expanding better and at least I can appreciate Izzy better now because what was shown in Make Your Mark, I'm sure that I can like her a lot more in Tell Your Tale now. Like, Wow. The main series is paying off well for the characters more than Tell Your Tale ever did. Because to be kind of honest, in Tell Your Tale, with all the episodes that I saw, I thought they were just kind of mediocre or low-key annoying. But now, I can actually warm up to them a lot more and, oh my god, I love them for what they are. Sparky is adorable in this episode and with the Tell Your Tale style suited for Opaline, Misty and Sparky, ah, oh, they look more cute. Hitch trying to be the best better father to Sparky so he can tries to control all of Sparky's doings but it all like spiraled out of control and it kind of just like ended in like a bit of an emotional mess until until Hitch finally found Sparky in the police station all over again. It brought us all full circle and I think that paid off just, just decently. I'm so happy for Hitch that he got a bigger role in this episode because he honestly needs more Tell Your Tale episodes centered around him because there hasn't really been that many so far. It's all been about the other girls and other characters as well. So for Hitch for one, I'm so glad that he got this episode all to himself. Dragon Dad, it's not the best episode, but it's definitely one of the yay episodes. Like, I would definitely come and re-watch this episode anytime I want. The episode ranking list is going to be much bigger and much longer than ever before, because since there have been like more than 45 episodes announced, you know, oh god, this episode is going to be a hard one to keep up with. I don't know where I would rank Dragon Dad. Maybe I would put it as number 13 or 12, but you shall see right now with my episode rankings of Tell Your Tale right here. It's definitely on the yay list. It's not a nay, definitely not. I do think the story may have been a bit lackluster, but everything in it was, was all right. And I do think it was quite fun. Dragon Dad, you did fairly well. So, Fluffbots, don't forget to like and hook tap this video and comment your thoughts down below of what you thought of Dragon Dad and subscribe to my channel for more reactions like this and many more content coming soon. And also, don't forget to leave a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye! And before the video ends, I would like to shout out my Silver Fluffbutt patrons, Comet Speed, Louise Wade, and Alex Smith, and my Gold Fluffbutt patron, the Pate and Growerful Trisky. Thank you so much for your love and support.